It's your boy, Movie Geek Griff, with your review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was trying to wear this shirt so you could see it. Chicks dig the ride. They're on the Ninja Turtle thing, but my webcam camera is so crappy, and the shade of this shirt is so crappy as well that it leads to a craptacular crap fest where you can't really see it. Anyway, all right, so originally, I only saw it because my, you know, it didn't look that good to me, and my, and mainly because my main dude, my favorite turtle is Donatello, and you know he's a, and I think I want to say I self-taught myself how to twirl sticks like a bow, like a quarter staff, strictly from watching, from watching the cartoon. No one taught me I can twirl stick really good. I don't know. No one taught me. I don't know how I picked it up so fast. Must have been something I could always do. Once I saw Donatello, I was like, and you know, it's actually the, the bow quarter staff is actually one of the weakest weapons out. It has the longest reach, the longest effective range, but it's one of the weakest weapons out of the, the other three. You know, kind of metal. Well, the nunchucks have wood, but they got the chain, but and it has a low effective range. I don't know. It just seemed in. Uh, the wood can be chopped up. You got to take the Michelangelo's nunchucks. You got to be in real close to him. Donatello could have someone at an advantage, you know, at a at a range and still get his bow chopped up. So it's really one of the weakest weapons. But if you know how to use it, you still look pretty freaking cool. So he was always my favorite. I taught myself how to twirl sticks because of him. Um, I mean, he, you know, he's just my favorite turtle, and the way they did him with that stu stupid ass, he had like a, I don't know, some kind of crazy backpack on, and he had the stupid goggles on, I was like, it, that, that to me, that takes away from his mobility, his stability, so, my family's coming in, so it might be about, hey, so, to me, they really crapped on Donatello the way they presented him, so, I have to deal with that. So that was my, my main reason I was like, yeah, Ninja Turtles. I only really saw it because my daughter wanted to see it. So, and that's fine. I mean, it gave me a chance to see it as well, just to see how bad it was or how good it was. Um, Megan Fox is April O'Neil. Mm, she was okay. She was all right. I mean, she's not my, she's, not my favorite actress by a long shot. Um, I forgot who Vern. I'm glad the dude is. The, what's his name? Uh, Will Arnett. He's he was the April's. Uh, God, he, her, her driver for the news van. He was a, always a wimp on the cartoon. He, this guy was a little cool, cooler. Um, Their fighting was good, but the backstory they kind of took away from the relationship between Shredder and Splinter. So I was like, eh. They just took a lot of liberties with the origin story. So, but I had to just kind of deal with that and, and try to enjoy the movie. The the fighting was all right. I, I'm still going to prefer the 1990s version just because I'm an 80s baby slash 90s kid. And, you know, Turtles 1 and 2, awesome. Did not see three where they went back in time and yeah, your samurais and they looked retarded. I didn't go see that one um, till this day. But the shredder dude, he was it was a bit much. He had all kind of you know he, he had claws on top of claws on top of claws on top of knives on top of daggers on top type of it was too much. Um, and of course, he kicked all the butts, which is to be expected. But all the stuff he had, the accoutrements, it was just too much to me. Um, it, however, still made money. And uh, it was going to be a two. And I think they're going to try to introduce Krang. I don't know if that means Bebop and Rocksteady are going to follow. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Casey Jones. Um, I'm thinking Wills was in there. I think Baxter Stockman was supposed to be in it. He was mentioned, but I didn't see him or a cat grenade him. You know, he turns into the little fly dude. But um, there were some good action sequ sequences, some good action pieces. But overall, and the, oh, one thing I really hated 
the voices. I don't know who's doing their voices. Mikey was okay. I think Johnny Knoxville did Leonardo, which I was like, a lot of their voices, I, everybody's voice, I was just like, uh, y'all need a whole new kind of voice talent thing going on because they wouldn't cut it. So, you know, it's all right for what it is. Um, hopefully the next one will be a, a little bit better. The whole, <laughs> excuse me, the fight on top of the tower was just like an Amazing Spider-Man 2 ripoff or Amazing Spider-Man 1 ripoff. So I was like, yes, I've seen this, but whatever. It was okay. It was a mildly distracting distraction. Um, you could wait for video if you wanted to. I just went to see a cast my kid. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah. Just wait for it. DVD, Blu-ray, whatever. That's it. That's my review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.